classification of phylum Ascalmentis. now phylum Ascalmentis can be classified into two major classes like you all know Ascalmentis include the round worms which are pseudocoelomate the first phylum to exhibit an organ system level of organization so we can, we can classify the phylum Ascalmentis into class a phasmidia and class phasmidia now the basic difference between these two phyla is a structure called phasmids are absent in a phasmidia as a result the name a phasmidia isn't it and whereas a structure which is referred to as phasmids are present in the case of these uh, uh, organisms which are referred to as the phasmidia you must be wondering what is a phasmid now a phasmid is present in the posterior region or near the tail of the worm that is closer to the anus or the cloaca and these phasmids the exact function of these phasmids are not known but there are a lot of guesses it is guessed that it is maybe a secretory or it is an excretory structure or in some literature it is also mentioned that it may be a chemo repulsive structure it helps the animal to repel from unwanted chemical substances or dangerous chemical substances so remember that these phasmidial glands or phasmids are present near the tail near the anus or the cloaca they may be secretory they may be excretory or they may be chemo receptive sorry chemo repulsive if these glands are located if they are present in the worm we put the worm in a class which is referred to as phasmidia if they are not present we put them in a class that is referred to as a phasmidia okay then what is common to both a phasmidia and phasmidia is they do have another structure near the mouth that is the anterior region of the body i told you that phasmids are located near the opposite end of the animal that is near the tail or the anus or the cloaca whereas amphids are located in the anterior end of the body so what is the anterior end anterior end means close to the mouth and these amphidial glands it is quite the scientists are quite sure that these are chemo receptors okay so the function of these amphids are they are chemo receptors they may be chemo sensory in nature and they're located close to the mouth that is near the anterior end in case of a phasmidia the amphids are complex they are highly modified they are very very simple in case of phasmidia and the second difference i already told you in a phasmidia phasmids are absent near the tail in phasmidia phasmids are present near the tail okay then in case of a phasmidia excretory glands are present whereas the canals are not present usually longitudinal canals are found running throughout the body in case of ascalmentis such canals are absent but groups of cells which are involved in removing the excretory product from the body fluid is actually located but in these animals that is phasmidia both excretory glands as well as excretory canals are located a phasmidians are mostly free living whereas fast medians are mostly parasitic example for a fast media is trichinella spiralis which is called the trichina worm and trichuris which is commonly called the whip worm in this case they have mentioned both parasitic then the most common parasite is uh, the most common parasites or the most famous parasites come under uh, phasmidia which have phasmids in their tail like we have ascaris lumbricoides which is the common intestinal roundworm of man and chylostoma duodenal which is the hookworm which infects through the bare skin that is exposed the larva bores through the skin and enters into the body and you know that ascaris is transmitted through contaminated food and water enterobius vermicularis that is the pinworm or the seat worm which is very very common among children because children play a lot in the soil so it is a common infection that is seen in children that is enterobius vermicularis and you know the uh, the worm that is transmitted by the culex mosquito which is wucheraria bancrofti it lives in the lymph gland glands on the lymph nodes of the adult and the lymphatic vessels of the adult body of the infected person's body and uh, this worm is referred to as wucheraria bancrofti you all are aware that the wucheraria bancrofti causes extreme swelling of the lower extremities of the body and gross deformities in the body which is referred to as filariasis or elephantiasis